Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're doing well today. I thought I should make a video because it's been a while and every time I'm inside I have a good video topic ideas and then I forget about them and they fade away and they kind of come and go and they're gone. So I thought I'd make a video and just talk about anything. So this past Thursday, August 22nd was Burgers to Beat MS at a and and uh... I think it's their 10th year supporting MS, um, but their spokeswoman is famous Canadian soccer player Christine Sinclair, and her mother has MS, and that's why she's a big supporter. Um, but yeah, so a and does this fundraiser every year at around the same time, the middle of the summer, early August, and they donate $2 from every team burger and I think a couple other burgers um, but yeah it's a great cause and um, I've wanted to go for the last three or four years and I haven't been able to not driving and uh, I didn't want to like go in there cripple and buy a burger so this year I wanted to go though and I took an uber over there and I had two burgers. I had a team burger, which was delicious, and then I tried the Beyond Burger, and uh, it was subpar. Like, I think it was missing something, to be honest. It wasn't bad. The Beyond Burger is not bad, but it's not great. There's nothing special about it. It tastes like a burger because it's a it's uh, inside a bun with lettuce, cheese, and other toppings, and it's masked by a bunch of other things. And I don't believe it's uh, any healthier for you. It's probably less healthy for you. Um, I think it's got 20 ingredients or something. It's got the same amount of calories as the teen burger. They both have 500 calories, and it likely has way more sodium it's got way more processed ingredients and uh, it just it can't be healthier for you but taste wise it was okay like it was okay next year though I'm probably gonna get two regular team burgers um, but it's a great cause and I recommend uh, next year that you guys go um, yeah. So, let me see. I always talk about how my diet's always changing, but I eat a lot of nuts, and my diet is probably 20 25% nuts. I probably have uh, at least 500 calories of nuts a day, and, uh, I guess I've been doing it wrong. So I read in the Walls Protocol that she soaks her nuts, which sounds kind of weird, but uh, I guess it's a thing that humans had been doing for um, hundreds of years and we just don't do it anymore, I guess. But soaking your nuts uh, makes them easier to digest and absorb the nutrients. So I guess a lot of nuts have phytates or phytic acid and it, um, they call them anti-nutrients. So they inhibit your ability to absorb other nutrients um, and they can almost uh, create nutrient deficiencies from what I've heard. But um, I think it's something ingrained in the plant um, to help it survive um, long term. I guess through this growth stages and stuff, the phytic acid helps protect it, um, but it's not ideal for just eating raw nuts. So when you eat those kinds of nuts, you want to soak them first. Um, and so I did a little bit of research online, and what I ended up doing was I had uh, walnuts and pecans and I soaked them in a big bowl with uh, sea salt for a couple of hours 
and uh, then I put them in the oven to dehydrate them. So my oven, the lowest temperature it goes is 170, um, not quite as low as some dehumidifiers are. Um, but I soak them for two hours and then put them in the oven to dry out. Um, I think I had them at 170 for four or five hours and then I shut the oven off and left them overnight. And uh, I guess it just makes it easier to digest. Um, yeah, so I had, no, I had no idea about that. I'd been doing it wrong this whole time. I thought, man, I'm eating the best nuts, but uh, it it's kind of um, counterintuitive when uh, you don't absorb all the nutrients. So um, I guess rinsing them and dehydrating them just makes them easier for your body to digest, less inflammatory. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I also mentioned um, in one of my last videos that my mom was ordering me organ meat supplements. And uh, she has done that and I've been taking them for a few weeks now. On the bottle, I think they're called Ancestral, Is this is the brand I think, Ancestral Organ Meats or something like that. Um, and on the bottle it says to take six tablets a day. And that's a lot. They're big tablets, um, but they're they're expensive. So I take two a day. Somebody's Ford Fusion, or I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know car names anymore because I don't drive. But. Uh, yeah, so I take those supplements. I take, the other supplements I take are um, a lot of vitamin D. So I take about 7,000 milligrams or of vitamin D. I take uh, an omega-3 supplement every day. I take a, a B complex. I take um, an alpha lipoic acid. I take a multivitamin. And I take the ancestral ones. So yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. But uh, another thing I've mentioned in the in the past is how much I don't like wearing shoes or um, bulky clothing or stuff that kind of weighs you down and that. But um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a pair of Adidas, and I don't think I've worn them once. And that's because when buying them, I didn't know that they don't even have a tongue. They just have like um, spandex or cloth where you're supposed to stretch and cram your foot into. But um, I did order these other ones. I'm kind of a sucker for Instagram ads. And uh, if I think it's uh, gonna benefit me, then why, why not? So I saw these other ones uh, the other day and they're called the Vivo Barefoot and they looked right up my alley, something small. They're almost like a water shoe, but they came in the mail today. And uh, yeah, so I, I can't, since I don't walk that much, I don't break in shoes like I used to. And uh, so all my shoes are just stiff and uh, these minimal shoes seem like they might be good, especially for my fundraiser that's coming up on September 8th, um, where I'll be using the Alinker uh, walking bike. And uh, yeah, they might be good for that. So I guess we'll have to see, but they're called the Vivo barefoot shoes. And uh, yeah, but uh, I guess that's all I got to say. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.